what is up guys welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac signs we're gonna go ahead and dive right in we're gonna pull your overall energy and then we'll get a couple clarifiers okay with oracle decks so let's see here what's going on with my scorpio what is the overall energy for my scorpio wow all right okay that's perfect let's do this let's do this okay so we have awakening which is the hangman okay we also have six of wands victory oh 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 ten of pentacles hey hey all right scorpio now this is what i'm a scorpio myself so this is what i like to see okay for some reason i always have difficulties doing my own readings but when i do a scorpio reading i can really see what's going on so i'm excited so we're gonna dive into the sign y'all see what's going on here so what I'm seeing off top here, the awakening is the hey man, okay? This is knowledge. This is being in like a temporary pause here, okay? Taking a moment to reflect on a few things, okay? Maybe looking at things from a different angle. But the thing about awakening as well, or the hey man, is that you are gaining knowledge here, okay? So you could be gaining knowledge of some type of situation, some type of financial situation, money situation. We have six of wands represents victory, victorious, okay? This here could be like a promotion, award, or scholarships, um, money investments, things like that coming through for you, okay? This could be successful sellings in your business and things like that. And then the ten of pentacles, I mean, come on. <laughs> like, you know, this is financial abundance. This is financial security, financial self, okay? But uh, a lot of times in abundance, though, Although it's the pentacles, this could represent love abundance, okay? Whatever you see as far as abundance, because it could be love offerings, it could be stable families, it could be um, love from your family, things like that. All right, so let's see here. Clarify the awakening card for Scorpio, please. Clarify the, woo! All right, so we have the four of cups as the first card coming out. You've rejected something, okay? You've rejected something and you said, I'm not about to accept this. I'm not going to accept this. I'm going to go after something else. Could be a love offering, a business offering. Could be um, a situation. Maybe it was a job application you were rejected from, okay? And maybe it took you some time um, to kind of get over it because you were like, dang, I really thought I had it. But let's see. Clarify this energy, the awakening. Two more cards. Yeah, five of wands. And the Queen of Cups. So yeah, there's definitely some type of rejection that happened. Okay, I feel like it was, um, it wasn't, it could have been something you were training for, you were hoping for, or you were fighting for. So it could have definitely been a job opportunity that you really, really wanted or you were really hoping that you were getting, but you were rejected from it here. Okay, uh, but with the Queen of Cups here, it could have had you emotional about it because you were really hoping that you were going to get it. And now you're kind of taking a moment out to yourself on things okay look at here seven of cups right so you, now you're kind of in this daydream world like reflecting on decisions options opportunities things like that that's how the six of okay page of swords came out clarify this the will of fortune okay and let's pull one more clarify the six of fire please clarify the six of fire for scorpio thank you okay so yeah Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Wands. So yeah, this was this could have been a um, a call from work saying, "Hey, you didn't get the job," or this wasn't the opportunity. You were excited about it, right? You were excited about it, and you were hoping that it was going to happen for you, okay? But it didn't. But guess what? The Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands. It's a reason you didn't get that job, okay? Because something else is about to to come into play here, okay? Something that is meant for you. Something that was another option that you might not have thought you had at first or the other option that you were like, oh, that's just going to be the backup just in case I don't get this job or this situation or this person, whatever the situation is going on. Things happen for a reason, okay? Things happen for a reason. So things are about to change for you here. Yeah, Ace of Swords and the King of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Look, maybe this job opportunity you were about to get wasn't going to pay you the amount that you deserved, okay? Okay. All right, and then here, now with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands, things are about to change for the better here. Ace of Swords, King of Wands, mental clarity, communication. King of Wands is like a manage. The King of Wands is the type of person, okay, it could be like a manager, supervisor, things like that. But the thing about a King of Wands, they're a very hard worker, okay? The King of Wands had to build their own um, financial stability from the ground up. So maybe you're about to get offered 
an opportunity here with the six of uh, pentacles. You may have to move towards it or you may have to move closer towards it or it could be like a, a job that you may have to drive a little further to. But the thing is, you may be offered a higher position here with higher pay, okay? So, and then if it's uh, if it's your business, okay, maybe, maybe you've been having hard times with your financial situation as far as your business, or maybe you were turned down from this opportunity because you were meant to open up your own business so that you could be your own boss. Now, clarify the Ten of Pentacles here, please. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Look at there. It's clarified with the hangman and the lovers here. Wow. So, yeah, this is an opportunity where you're either about to have love coming into your life, okay, or a, a job that you absolutely love or a situation that you really want with the justice card here, okay? What's being hidden is you were going back and forth, okay? You were indecisive about this opportunity, but now that you've gotten, you've received the, no, you didn't get this opportunity, Okay, because you were going back and forth here with the two of pentacles, you had to make a choice, right? What What's not being seen is happiness, the sun card. You're about to receive what you want, what you really, what's going to really be invested in you here. Seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Look, six of wands, victory. So look at it, don't look at it like, dang, I really needed the job, I really wanted that job. Look at it like that was a blessing in disguise because I was denied from that job because I'm about to get something better. So something better is about to happen for you. Let's pull one more. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, look, judgment. Karma, good karma is about to come into you. Ten of Pentacles. You're about to receive, if it's love, you're about to receive love. If it's money, you're about to receive that. If it's a job that you absolutely love and that you adore, that you really, really want, you're about to receive it, okay? It may not have been the one that you chose at first, but it's about to be the one that really wants to get you, okay? Really wants you to come in here. Look. Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands, okay? Page of Wands represents a message coming in, okay? This represents um, good financial news. Ten of Cups is overall happiness, fulfillment, Knight of Swords. This is someone needing to reach out, wanting to say something here. You might not have got that job because maybe that person that um, you applied with had a bad attitude or something like that, okay? And you were denied that job for a reason. You were denied that job for a reason. Now you're about to receive a job that's here to, to give you something that you're going to love doing, something that you're going to enjoy. So let's see here. Now as far as lovers, if it's a lover, you didn't get with that person or that person rejected you because your love that you were going to give was too much for them. Okay, they, didn't, they did not deserve this type of love. All right, and so of course that person cut you off, but they cut you off for a reason because now... You're about to receive, okay, the partnership that you deserve here, all right? And then here with the hangman and the lovers, this is getting to know, knowledge, standing still, being patient, waiting on things to happen for yourself, and look what comes, judgment, okay? Come, it's coming towards you. You don't even have to chase after it because it's coming for you and towards you here. So let's see if we can pull a couple of, let's pull a couple of, uh, so, let's do the spell casting Let's see what we have. I'll do the spellcasting deck for you. Any messages for Scorpio? Any messages for Scorpio? Look at there. The dreams card came out. So this is dreams coming true. You may be getting messages through your dreams. Okay, you might have dreamed. Look at that. Good luck and passion and blessings is under that. See there, I told you. Dream come true, okay, dreams. You might have known that you weren't about to get this position. You could have known that already. Maybe it played out in your dreams, and um, it was a story trying to tell you here. The dreams card, as you know, is the moon card, okay? Maybe something was being hidden that you couldn't quite see that the moon needed to reveal, and it was a, maybe a hostile work environment or a hostile lover that you didn't deserve. You deserved better, and so the universe stepped in. And knock that out the way, like, psh, get that out of here, you know what I'm saying? So that you can receive what you're meant to receive. So don't look at it as a failure. It's okay. Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? Look at that, honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. See, there was something being hidden at that other job or through that other person that you couldn't see because they weren't being honest with you. 
It could have been a miserable work environment. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring yeah. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah, you don't feel no ways. You don't feel no ways. And if you do right now, let it go. It's okay. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Don't regret it. Don't regret that you didn't get that job or the lover that you wanted you didn't get because the universe is saying I have something better for you anyway with this Ten of Pentacles. You didn't get that because I didn't want you to get that, right? You didn't get that because there's something way better. You were settling for uh, a Three of Cups situation or you were settling for something that wasn't that they didn't even have value for. You were settling for something with hostility, okay? A lot of fighting, a lot of disagreement and stuff like that. You were settling for that. You were willing to offer your love for that. The universe said, no, you know what? I got this for you right here. This is what you're going to get, Scorpio. You thought that was good. Wait until you see what I got for you. Guys, if you enjoyed this reading, make sure you smash that like button down below. Feel free to subscribe to my video. I'm sorry, subscribe to my channel. Any other messages? Communicate clearly, all right? If this is what you want in your life, make sure you're accepting it. You're thanking the universe for it. You're thanking your spirits for it. Helpful people, look, see? You're, you're about to receive a blessing that's going to have a lot of people surrounding you that's going to help support you here. Any other messages? Big happy changes. Look at there. Big happy changes. I'm telling you, you didn't, you didn't receive that unlikely. You didn't receive that because it wasn't meant for you to have it. You were meant to have something better. So let's pull any other any other messages with the lovers, the romance deck here, just in case, so we can touch on the love and relationships real fast. Any other messages for Scorpio as far as love and relationships? Any other messages for Scorpio as far as love and relationships? Any other messages for Scorpio as far as love and relationships, please? Thank you. Look at there. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. You, that's what you had to do. Maybe this was a past lover that was coming in that wanted that you wanted to be with, and uh, maybe they didn't want to be with you, right? It was a it was an opportunity here, okay? It was an opportunity. You wanted that, but they didn't want the situation. It was toxic. It was whatever, you know, whatever was going on in the situation. You didn't receive it because you didn't deserve it. You deserve something better. So the, you didn't want to free yourself from it, so the universe freed you from it. And now that you are finally free, bam, Ten of Pentacles. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. See there? Engagement and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Baby, you went from being single to being engaged, okay? So things are about to things are about to happen for you, okay? You're moving in the right direction. Make sure you stay positive. Keep um, living in that light and that love out there because you're bringing in your dreams here. You're bringing in your dreams. So Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope this resonates. If it does, make sure you smash the like button, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.